hello everyone welcome to the third part of the video in this video we are going to talk about two things first how to load an image on the screen which you can see here we have appeared we have taken a car image on the screen and secondly how to move this car in x and y directly just like this so without further ado let's start coding before going further I just wanted to mention here that I have restructured the code and I've created one game loop function okay and I've created some variable for the width and height and I just modified according to my own just pause the video and just try to restructure your code giving some functions variables and assign some value to it that's it and then we are good to go okay so first we have to load the image so for loading the image we have a function or method called pygame.image.load but yeah wait wait a second so for image I, I have given the github link in the description so you can you can download on your system and put it in the same directory where the code exists the other way also you have you can you can give, give the directory or the file path in the uh, in the parameter but i will suggest you to give uh, to set that sorry to set that uh, or to put that image file in the same directory where the code exists okay so after that after doing that we have to use this method called pygame.image.load and give the image name here for here we have car1.jpg and put it into a variable called car img okay so now this image has been loaded okay so we have a gray screen and there we have to put that car above the surface of the screen i hope you got my point so for doing this we we are creating a function so let's just create a diff car which will accept a argument two arguments and there's a method called blit method to appear that object onto the screen i will tell you in detail after writing this line screen dot blit let's just say car image comma x comma y okay so this blit method argument is this is the source like what image you have to appear on the screen okay so this, this is the car image which we are taking and this is the source and this is the destination like where exactly you have to present that car image on the screen so x y will be the coordinates x and y coordinates of the screen so we'll give a some random number to see where exactly it is appearing on the screen but for now just we just replace x and y to be zero zero so that you we will all get an idea where exactly the car will appear on the screen so let's just save it and run it so you will see here okay so the car haven't appeared i think we haven't we missed calling the car function oh yes okay so let's just let's just call the car function giving zero zero coordinates and now save it and run the code yes so you can see here the car is appeared on the zero zero coordinates so this is this is starting point you can see the highlight here this is the zero zero coordinates of the screen okay so let's just play around with the coordinates so that you will get a family idea about how the coordinates is divided on the screen so firstly we have given zero zero now we will give suppose half of it 400 as the width of the screen is 800 so we are dividing into half 400 and into height is 600 so we'll give it 300 so let's just run the code and see where exactly the car will appear so you can see almost at the center of the game because the car also have some you know the width and the height so you cannot getting that idea exactly that is not you can say that this is not appearing in the center but you can see this portion it is on this half to the center center point of the screen because car is also having some width and height so but okay so now we have to uh, push this car to the below point okay to the end of the this height so let's just change according to our own understanding let's just take uh, 400 into 370 i guess 
I just run and see. Okay. I think we have to take. Um, so I'm taking 470 as height and 400 as a width. Let's just run it and see if it is appearing in the right section or not. Yes. Okay. So now the image has been appeared or the car has been appeared on the screen. Now we have to deal with the moving coordinates. Okay. We have to take a variable for the X coordinate of the car. So let's just say X change equal to zero. Okay. Now we have to one second. Here we have to play with the event handler. Okay. So let's just start here. So if event dot type equal to equal to pi game dot key down key down basically whenever we pressing the key any key so we are iterating over the keys so if event dot type equal to equal to pi game dot key down and so for the left you can search in on google event keys key one second sorry my bad hmm. you can find the keyword shortcut for the event handling in this link you can see here all the keyword shortcuts are there so we have to bother about left arrow and the right arrow okay now so if here if event dot key equal to equal to pi game dot k underscore left then um suppose this is the position x change equal to zero like this is the idle position of the car now whenever we press left then the car should move on the left side so we have to decrease the coordinates uh, x coordinate by let's just say if, as of now x change equal to minus 5 and same and if event dot key equal to equal to pi game dot k underscore right now then we have to increase the x coordinate so simply we can say x change equal to 5 okay till here the code is fine but we have written the logic for pressing the key but what about the when the key has been released obviously when we, we are pressing the key we have to release that key so for that also we have to write an if logic so it goes like this if event dot type equal to equal to pi game dot key up okay so if event same keys if event dot key equal to equal to pi game dot k left or event dot key equal to equal to pi game dot k underscore right then the x change should be zero otherwise if we are not giving this uh, logic that just then you get the idea of what exactly i'm talking about if we aren't giving this release uh, section or release uh, release logic whenever we press left or right the, the car will go either on the left side or the right side and not be on the idle position let's just put it into comment and then we will see but before going further down we i have missed one thing which i have to point out here we have to take a variable for x and y coordinates because at the end of this event handling we are updating the x coordinate so here we have to give x equal to 400 and y equal to 470 and replace here with x and y also here with the car x y and now it's time to update the x coordinate so we can here write x plus equal to x underscore change and save it and you can see here when we write this code i'm pressing the left key and you can see the car movement so it's moving very fastly here okay first let's just put this uh, this release logic into comment section and then we can see what exactly i was mean to say so when we click when we press on left key you can see the movement and it vanishes 
because we don't we haven't you know i written the logic for the car the idle position for the car so that's why we have to write the logic for releasing of key that is key up okay so we are good to go save the code run it and just see the output okay so that's all in the next video i will be talking about very short topic about the clock thing in bike game okay because you can see the car movement is going very rapidly so we cannot you know play the race game which i have showed in the first video so for that we will we will be talking about the clock thing so stick to that thank you for watching this video keep coding and keep learning bye bye see you in the next video thank you